Hey guys, Matt here for Boy Meets Film, and today we are doing another unboxing video. We're going to be unboxing the new Andy Cine A6 Lite camera monitor. All right guys, so I've got a camera monitor here. Andy Cine was kind enough to send this to me to review. Um, it is the A6 Lite. It's a five inch monitor and instead of a five, I think it was a 5.6 or 5.7 was the A6 monitor. Um, this is a five inch HDMI 4K um, input. It doesn't uh, output 4K, it outputs 1080p. Um, I believe when we get inside, we'll find out, I suppose. Um, but uh, it does take a 4K signal, so you don't have to post process it, or you don't have, the camera doesn't have to process um, the signal out into a 1080p signal. Um, so let's take a look. First of all, the packaging here, I do want to mention, kind of reminds me of an Apple uh, package you get, the way it's shrink wrapped and the nice white packaging. It looks really nice. So um, I really like the way the packaging looks. Um, so let's cut this baby open and we will see uh, what we've got inside. So let's see what's inside. Cut this open very carefully. Take this shrink wrap off. Most boxes that I get from companies that are uh, like from China, um, they don't usually have uh, shrink wrap on the outside. So that's kind of nice to see. So let's see if we can pull this open. Like I mentioned, this is a new model, the A6 Lite. So it is slightly smaller, um, but come on, there we go. Oh, all right, it is slightly smaller, um, but uh, it is a uh, little bit redesigned. So we'll take a look and see. So we've got the uh, certified quality certificate from them. We've got yet another microfiber cloth from Andy Cine. It's got a nice little Andy Cine logo on it. Uh, we've got a little thing about Andy Cine. Before I get too much farther in this, Andy Cine was kind enough to send this to me, but just as a disclaimer, like always, this is my personal opinions. This has nothing to do with what they've paid me to say. Um, this is what I think about what we're doing um, or what the, what the actual product is. Uh, so I'm not getting paid for this, in other words. So we got the little, uh, um, manual here. Let's take a look at the actual thing. We'll do a more in-depth review of all of that stuff later on when we do our review of this, but this is just an unboxing video. So we're all done with the boxes. Let's throw those away, get everything out of the way. Comes in a nice little case. It's a nice kind of compact size. Um, let's open this baby up and see what's inside. Nice uh, padding too, so it doesn't uh, damage anything. First thing I see, drink wrap. <laughs> Um, this looks to be a sun hood, I would guess. Let's open this up. Let's see here. That's exactly what it is, a sun hood. Velcro sun hood. Plastic with a little bit of felt lining on the inside. But it's got Velcro, so my assumption is, is that there must be Velcro on the actual monitor to put that onto. You've got your HDMI cable. Looks like a mi micro. HDMI mini rather to HDMI. Let's open that up and see. So we've got an HDMI cable for this. Um, what else we've got here? We've got a bracket. This does count, come uh, with a uh, camera mounting bracket. So we've got, get that out of the way. We've got a bracket here, um, with a cold shoe mount. Um, we've got micro USB cable. And we've got a user guide for the LCD display. Okay, oh, this is for the battery. It does come with a battery, which is nice, and a charger. So you've got this little charger here, um, and it, it's a USB charger. So if you've got a power brick, you can probably use that. Otherwise, it'll plug right in. It does have a little LCD display here. You've got an input here for the um, battery charger, uh, so you can actually plug in um, the micro USB cable. So it's longer, I guess, that's it. It gives you the opportunity. This is a teeny cable, not very long, but the micro USB uh, input on this side allows you to charge it with something you already have. Most of us probably already have a thousand micro USB cables and power bricks. So that'll make charging the battery easier. We've got a battery here, Sony NPF battery. Probably got a lot of those laying around, which means it'll be easy to power this. 
um, and you probably have other chargers too. So that's what it comes with. It does come with a Sony NPF battery, just a small one, um, NPF 550. Uh, so it's just a small battery, but uh, the other cool thing about this monitor is just like the A6, you can actually output power if you have a dummy battery into your camera, um, which I don't have a dummy battery yet. I'm gonna try to get one so we can review that aspect of this monitor as well. So here's the monitor. The case has this little strap in here to kind of hold the monitor in place. And we've got a little monitor here. So five inches, it's not very big. Five inches, is a, it's a decent size um, for an external monitor for just if you're working close up, obviously it's not gonna be um, uh, a giant monitor for a client to take a look at necessarily or uh, anything like that, but um, it'll work for what, uh, what we need it to do. Um, it's got some screen protector on here. I'll leave that on for right now. Oh, actually, let's take it off and take a look at the screen. So there's a screen protector comes off. Um, it's got a good screen. It is a shiny screen, so I'm assuming you're probably going to get a lot of sun glare. You can see here it's got uh, Velcro along the edges um, of the monitor, so you can take this. I'm just going to set this on here and set it on here, and that pins it in. It actually is really easy to do, and it comes. It's actually a pretty nice sun hood. That was one of the easiest sun hoods I've, I've put on. I love where this goes on. It just peels right off, folds up. You can throw it in your bag. Um, it's got the mount on this side for this this bracket right here. One cool feature of this is is that if you're shooting and you're a YouTuber, such as myself or anything like that, you can actually flip this over. It's designed so that the bracket, when it's tight on here, you can still turn this. So you can flip it 360 degrees. You got that there. You can flip it over. Um, I don't know that it auto rotates. We'll have to check that at the review. The A6 did not auto rotate. So my assumption is that it probably doesn't. Um, but we will check into that. Uh, you've got your DC out. Um, so this will actually power your camera if you have a dummy battery, uh, which is great. Um, it just gives you an, a way to, an option to uh, power both at the same time if you have a good size NPF battery. Um, we've got the uh, battery compartment in the back where the battery slides in. Let's see how that works. One complaint before that I'd heard is that it was hard to take the battery out because it had a little knob in the back, but this one seems to have a quick release. Oh, there comes the monitor on. Instead of having to push the tab and the bot back now, you slide the battery in place, and then you can push the quick release button to take the battery out, which is awesome. That way you don't uh, have to try to push a little tab. Um, it's got headphones, headphone output too. I'll let this turn on. You've got the upgrade port for the USB cable, um, just a mini USB port, it looks like, so that you can um, upgrade this. If there's firmware updates, uh, let's see, this side has the DC in, so you can actually get a charging cable for this. It does not come, or a uh, power cable it does not come with a power cable, but Andy Cindy does send, sell it. Um, you've got HDMI out, so you can actually um, put input HDMI from your camera and then output to another larger monitor or a recorder. Um, I'm not sure. It does output 4K um, signal. Um, it'll input 4K, down res it in, inside of the monitor and then output it as 4K. So you can put it into a monitor. It's got a nice bright screen. You can see that here. I don't have any input on it right now. Um, you got the little buttons on top. The top is a power button. Um, scrolling buttons for the menu. If you hit the menu button, you're gonna have be able to scroll through the menu, up and down menu buttons, and you've got left and right menu buttons over here. That'll allow you to change the menu. Uh, we'll go more into the menu in the review on exactly what what uh, how it works. It's got a power indicator up here. It says 80%. Um, I'll have to take a look at that. I'm curious to see uh, how it actually functions if it goes down in single percentages or if it goes down in 10% blocks or 20% blocks. I think previously the A6 went down in 20% blocks. So if it does go down in single uh, percentage increments, it'd be awesome. Um, but then you have the function buttons, which are awesome. You can put functions on there. Right now you've got histogram on one and you've got false color on the other. Um, this does have a lot of those functions, but that's it. That's what's in the box. So you've got, let me power this off. So you've got the nice monitor here, a good size. Um, I mean, it's not huge. You're not gonna wanna stand 20 feet away from it and look at it, but it's great if you're using a DSLR or a mirrorless because it'll make it a lot better uh, and easier to see. Um, so you got that, you've got the battery, which pops out here. So you got the battery, the monitor, sunshade, which I really like the way that that goes on. Plethora of different cables, HDMI cable, uh, USB, micro USB cable, charging bracket for the top of a camera, a nice padded case, and a whole bunch of uh, random packaging material like before, like everything else. 
Um, so that looks like that's everything in the box for the Andy Cine 4K. This is the uh, A6 Lite. So there you have it, the uh, A6 Lite Andy Cine 5 inch monitor. Thanks for watching this video of Boy Meets Film. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications when we do upload more content. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.